Fumi Nation, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another episode of Real Housewives of Lagos. Before I start, let me try and answer a couple of your questions. Some of you were saying that you did not know what channel this was on. Was it on Netflix? No, it is on Showmax. It is on Showmax. I will put the link down below for you so that you can click onto it. Yes, my darlings, a lot of you were asking me too. Fumi, are you French? No, I am not. I just happen to roll my R's. I am Nigerian. My father's Nigerian and my mother is from fabulous, the Gambia. So I am half Nigerian and I am half Gambian. Um, what else would you like guys to know? Yes, you wanted to know whether you can follow me. Of course, nah. <laughs> when I don't say you can follow me, you must follow me, in fact. <laughs> I did Instagram. My name is right here, Fumi De Saluvold. You guys follow me on Instagram. We have fashion, we have style, we have Fumi Nation, we have motivational fitness, all kinds of stuff. So you guys make gonna follow me for Instagram. Also, follow me here. I beg make we reach one million here. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to like, and make gonna chuck mat, put comments down below so that we can know exactly what page we are on. <laughs> Yeah, so we are back and the opening scene is with my girl Tiana. Tiana, might I add, is looking fabulous. She's wearing this gorgeous blue organza with oversized buttons, hair makeup in place. As a matter of fact, while I'm on the subject, show Max Abegona. Come and give me content. Come and give me pictures. Come and give me images from scenes so that I can inject it into the episodes because we influencers, we storytellers that you love so much, we want to put it into our storyline so that as you guys are listening to the gist, you can be looking at the visuals and be saying, ah, hey, okay, 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 I get it. <laughs> so that your imagination does not have to run too, too far, you know. So, show Max, Netflix does it all. Mm -hmm. Netflix does it for young, famous, and African. You know, they're your competitors. Do something. Uh -huh. Show your hand. <laughs> A lot of you said that you loved my pigeon. Yes, now I'm from Giddy. You know, we're Giddy girls. I, I, I went to Holy Child College. Don't play. Do not play. Just because I haven't been there in about 30 years does not mean that I'm not Giddy to the core. As I was saying, Tiana was looking fabulous. What really caught my eye? She had one tennis bracelet on her hand like this and it was gorgeous i mean even elizabeth taylor would have been like Woo, wow i'm an aries my zodiac stone is diamond so you know i have a patent for what i have a patent for diamonds i love me some diamonds and that tiana diamond encrusted tennis bracelet was fabulous anywho i digress so she opens up the scene and she lets us know that laura ekg is coming to her boutique so we now go to tiana's boutique tiana has all kinds of styles up in there in the last episode i was like hey, tiana your fashion get a zb in fact i use the word atrocious i take it back for now i think girlfriend has one or two styles that i most probably will want to snatch for myself tiana go ahead with your bad self you know what we're only on episode two let us see what we're working with laura strolls in they sit down they have a little chit chat because laura came to tiana for some outfits for some upcoming events that laura is going to attend to so i'm under the impression that tiana does this for the girls as well as others you know anywho tiana being the diplomat as i am seeing i loved her in the first episode she's carrying that energy to the second episode she sits laura down and she says laura how far now mm -mm. which one self on a day because the last time she saw laura was at her event for her baby remember the hair product launching duda and laura was very salty so she wants to know now laura how far Abi Una get fight with Caroline. You get fight with Choma. Uh, how far now? Now, Laura is still sour. I don't understand exactly what the Duda is there. Why? Because I want to believe that Laura cannot just vex hot hot like that for Chioma just because Chioma said my client. I have a completely different mentality but I know you people will say for me you are from away so your own self get as it be. But if I say this is my friend and that person says ah yes I'm a customer 
I take it that she's a friend that supports. She's a supporter and she's a friend. So I did not, I wouldn't have been offended if Choma had said she's my client. I can understand that maybe it's small shade. For those in Niger, that means that I issue. <laughs> Translation back and forth, back and forth. Let's be doing it. That means issue. Uh, no, 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 no. Just stand at the door. I didn't let you enter. But as far as I'm concerned, promise you when I tell you, I'm all about my coin. You're supporting me, putting coin, putting your hand inside your paws to give me money. You're a friend. You're a friend. <laughs> That's how I see it. So anyway, Laura was salty about that, that trauma bitch. What did you say up in there? That, uh, you know what, let me come and stay at Domot is issue. So, but even then, I don't think that's enough for Laura now because Tiana was saying, are you going to come for beachfront escapade that Iyabo is going to hold for us? Are you coming? So, you know, Laura, not saying too much, said, you know what? If I make an effort, it will be because of you, Tiana. But left to me, I know they feel them like that. That Caroline, let me know before I come. That Chioma, let me know before I come. Me, I no want Wahala. The Wahala palette. <laughs> it's all coming full circle. Juvia's place. Juvia's place named a palette Wahala. Do we live? Do we love? Use my discount code through me. I digress. So Tiana was like, ah, Laura, don't be like that now. Come so that you can be my partner in crime. We can be gossiping, be laughing at others there. And Tiana doesn't mean that per se. She's just saying, Laura, come. Let's have fun. Forget about that. But Laura seems to be adamant. She finishes her orders and she takes off. So as Tiana and Laura are gisting about Chama and Caroline, <laughs> Choma and Caroline are inside Choma's house. Very swanky, very fabulous, swimming pool and everything. They're up in there talking about center yourself, let us do yoga. Choma is a fitness buff and Carolina is here for the ride. She's like, you know what, let me center myself, let me stretch, let me try and stretch. And they're up in there stretching and doing their thing. Full makeup, beat hair i am living for it especially trauma and when she explains herself in the green screen room mwah. makeup flawless hair flawless outfit flawless do i still think that she needs a little bronzer a little bit of contour by the jawline by the jawline but you know what everything is fabulous caroline and trauma say how do you see how laura behaved at tiana's product lunch the other day and Choma says, diplomatic again, Choma, I'm getting her vibe, very classy, doesn't want to put her foot in it, she's a lawyer, <laughs> inadmissible in court, so she really is watching it. <laughs> How far with the way Laura behaved the other day? Chioma now says, I've seen her on social media. The way she they do for Instagram. In fact, you could think say nine be the life of the party. But when I saw her that day, she was very quiet. Could it be that she's shy? And I thought for Choma to say that was extremely diplomatic because somebody can be shy and you can look pleasant, but you can be sitting there and you are closed off. Translation, I'm not trying to mix with all of you all. Caroline says, you know what? I'm all about positivity. I'm all about positive vibes. So you know what? Anybody who doesn't want me, I will not step there. It's a lie. <laughs> I will not step there. I'm not trying to enter anybody's wahala. Fade to black. We get to Iyabo. Iyabo now tells us a little bit more about herself. He gets seven picking. Translation, she has seven children, two of them biological, a boy and a girl. I think her name is Princess. Gorgeous. I peeped her Instagram. The babe is beautiful. Iyabo is gorgeous. So there you have it. Anyway, Princess Princess, I think, is turning 21. In Niger, it's a big thing. Uh, 16, 21, 25, I think. Big. 50, big. 40, big. So it's going to be her big 21st birthday. Yabo is going to throw her a fabulous party, going to rent the hall and everything. And they open that scene where Yabo is in her bedroom talking to her daughter. You know what I love about this episode and you're giving it to me. I live for it. Why did they serve breakfast? Ogi. 
and Akara. Chai! Oh God, I love me some pap. I love me some ogi. You're taking me home, girls. You're taking me home, girls. How on a day? I didn't miss so now. I beg we gonna send, send quick, quick. For those of you that don't know, it's an African, it's Nigerian breakfast. It is pap. It's very much. I can't explain it. I cannot say it's porridge. It's not porridge. It's not tapioca. It's not that. It's very smooth, and it has no texture, but it's thick. It's cream. Ah, I tell you, it's like custard but with a different flavor. And then you have like fried puff puff, but again, a different texture. It's savory and sweet. And it is delicious, delicious, delicious. I tell you, repeat after me, delicious. Hey, it is sweet for mouth. Chai! Anywho, she's having her pap and ogi and they're discussing. And she also has been taking care, mothering, that is Yabo, mothering Princess's boutique, fashion boutique. She's going to hand over the boutique now to her daughter, now that she turns 21. And uh, the daughter is like, yes, it is time. I'm ready. And she's telling her daughter that we're going to go to Turkey. Turkey is fire. You want to start your business? You want to start your pop-up shop? You want to start your boutique? Turkey. Style, fashion. I'll be there myself. I will do vlog when I'm going and she'll also come to London yeah but let's do drinks now mm? let's do drinks <laughs> we go to Mayfair yeah, fabulous city so they're going to come to London and going to shop around and do her stuff having said that Yabo now peeps and that's a lot of mothers especially Niger mom sees very close to their daughters she said ah I see you with one bobo how far because we're going during Valentine's I hope your bobo will not mind by the way when are you going to get married I want you people to get married in time or before before it reaches 25 so that I can be a better young fabulous grandmom see Yabo step to the side don't put pressure on your daughter let her do her thing the world has changed let her take her time find the man that you love that you want that you desire and you are ready to be a mother because it's not about the wedding it is very much about the marriage you want the marriage to last because a lot of my girlfriends that married early they are divorced they're divorced. It takes a lot to be a mom because you're going to have her babies afterwards. So that is that scene and it fades out to black. Iyabo gets herself ready. She's hosting this fabulous event. So she gets a party bus and Tiana shows up at her residence and they both go now to pick up Caroline and also pick up Choma. All the girls look gorgeous. All of them look gorgeous. They are giving me, they are giving me sex in the city. They're giving me sex in the city because each girl has their own shape, gorgeous, and they are dressing according to their shape. I almost want to say they are better dressed in episode two than they were in one. Choma comes in with her little Birkin bag. I think it's like, like a canary yellow. She's got her hat. She's got her glasses. The same thing for Caroline, looking fabulous. Tiana is looking fabulous. She's wearing Ankara all the way to match with the headpiece. Iyabo is looking gorgeous. They all head out to the boat where Tiana now goes to the front. And oh my God, I was just in awe. The cinematography for this is top notch. Real Housewives of Lagos, Showmax, you're doing it. You are what? You are doing it. Beautiful. And you have, I can see the drones, you know I'm a content creator. You have the panoramic view of a cool and you can see how the sea is just splashing against them. You know that little you know, spritz of fresh sea air. Positivity, affirmation, light, laughter. I'm taking it all in. I'm grateful. I'm humble. Let me enjoy this weekend getaway and they head over to Ilashe Beach to this beautiful, white, gorgeous beach house. Guys, when I tell you, for my non-Nigerians, live your best life over at this gorgeous beach house. It was giving me the Pacific Coast Highway. For those of you guys that live in California, you know those beautiful houses on PCH, Pacific Coast Highway, all the way going up to Santa Monica? This is what this house gave me. I want this house. Positivity, affirmation, light. Yes, for me, it's yours. The girls arrive, they clickety-click to drinks, they pick out their rooms, and then they get dressed for dinner. 
the dinner is out in the garden each and every one of them is dressed beautifully as a matter of fact the most intriguing for me <laughs> was Tiana's. Tiana wore a transformation dress. Now, for those of you that don't understand what a transformation dress, let me break it down for you guys. You know how sometimes a bride will walk down in this fabulous bouffon dress. The skirt is long and is gorgeous and it's trailing behind her as she walks all the way down to the aisle to now recite her marriage vows. But then in the evening, sometimes some brides, they just don't want to change into another outfit. What can they do? They can just untie the skirt and it's revealed a mini dress or like a sleek long gown transformation dress you can transform one dress to another and that was what tiana wore and it was just pink and it was encrusted in all of these stones and i absolutely lived for it it was giving me gian patistia valley slash h&m remember that uh, limited collection that they did and that pink dress that was the vibe Choma was just sprinkled in night glass that was just how it looked like and Caroline was looking great no back fat I live I love boy beautiful dress and the same thing for Yabo so here they come now and they have dinner and then Yabo says what is the worst rumor you have ever heard about yourself Caroline now says the worst rumor was that I married my ex-husband for money and I didn't even know that he was that wealthy to which Choma well everybody looked at Caroline like say what I tell you why everybody knows Danjuma even I know Danjuma and I have not lived in Nigeria for over 32 years I know Danjuma it is like saying uh, uh, Hilton Paris Hilton, you know they got money. Every Hilton I know, they got money. So Caroline, it was shocking for you to say that. It was quite shocking. I think perhaps what she meant to say was that, no, for me, don't try to help her along. I will say that she did say that she did love him. So I, I would like to believe that, no, mama, come on now. Nah. You had to know that he had coin. Shoot. You know, say get money. I beg we could have no lie. <laughs> but she loved him. She did say she loved him. It was on cue. Tiana said, I got to transform this dress. It's too tight. I cannot sit down and relax here. <laughs> this lie is too much for me. <laughs> the lie is too much. I beg. I beg. Let me let me transform. Let me transform. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Choma, come, come, come and assist. <laughs> I lived for it. So that was that and the dinner was done. They now went for a night swim. This beach house is gorgeous. There's a swimming pool outside each of every bedroom. So they have floats of which Yabo jumped in because she's scared of the water and the rest of the girls were swimming. The swimwear again. Tiana killed it. I want that swimwear. I'm a mom. I'm a mom. <laughs> you understand me? Especially if you're going to Dubai to these other countries where you want to respect the culture. This was fabulous it was a long dress and it gaped all the way on the sides you see let me tell you something and this is the beauty of traveling this is the beauty of understanding different cultures can i wear this in la on the red carpet absolutely would i wear that in Nigeria on the street absolutely not would i wear it swimming in dubai absolutely you've got to know where you're going to know how you're dressing talking about that this akaftan is by psychoi she's my wonderful friend she's very fabulous again you know we're doing this beach blowy fabulous getaway hence appropriately dressed so they had the wonderful swimmer who they went to bed they woke up in the morning and trauma led the crowd with a beautiful yellow dress and the detail on the shoulder was exquisite they come for breakfast again you guys give it to me yam and stew Ooh, eh yeah beef yam you guys know what yams are we've got sweet yams we have a lot of yams when it comes to thanksgiving in america this is like a white yam it is delicious you can add salt you can add sugar you boil it it is a starch it is a carbohydrate the big picture is a lot of nigerian foods is just really vegetable and carb you will notice that the girls 
are very toned, very, very firm. It's our diet. It really is our diet. While I'm on the girls, I saw in the comments, hey, did they bleach, did they bleach, did they bleach, did they bleach? But let me tell you this. Having lived a lot all over the place, not every Nigerian is as dark as me. Some of them are darker and some of them are much lighter. We come in all shades of brown. Do I say that nobody bleaches? That's not true. I'm not saying that. But what, okay, for example, my sister's lighter than I am. I'm as dark as my mother. My father is lighter than us. You know, we come in different complexions. So just because you see a girl that's light skinned does not mean that she has bleached. But if you know somebody from way back when and you're like, hmm, things that make you say hmm that's on you i don't know these girls i'm getting introduced to them for the very first time and i think they all look gorgeous and beautiful i looked at the knuckles i didn't see nothing if i'm wrong holler at a sister down below i beg me could not chook them out tell me say for me i i'd see something mm -hmm. Anywho, uh, Tiana said, you know what? I'm missing Laura. I spoke to Laura. Laura is in her house. She's swimming with her kiddies. She's enjoying herself. And she's like, you know what? Middle finger to all of you all. I really prefer to be here. And I agree because the subject at hand to end this fabulous beach getaway with all that you had was to talk about her saying, you know what? Let me talk on her behalf. Was it necessary? Anyway, from breakfast, they now have like an extra exercise dance let us move or whatever so they have a dancing structure who says you know what bring out your inner inner and give it to me so they do all of that and Chioma is there wearing skims in collaboration with Fendi it was a limited edition I think I have a couple of clips I'll try and put that in because I went for the limited edition party right here in London it was very fabulous and she looks good Yabo looks fabulous in Louis Vuitton. I didn't even know that they do exercise gear. I'll be there with Ula's money tomorrow. It's my birthday. Why not? <laughs> So that was that. And then we go to the final scene, which was the least favorite for me because it was kind of gossipy. And it was a thing where I whisper in your ear, you guess what I'm saying. You call out somebody else's name. I didn't like where it was going and it went to where I didn't want it to go. And it's going to spill disaster. I'll tell you right now. They brought up Laura. Laura Ikeji was not there for a reason. She said, I'm not feeling all of you hoes up in here. Koda, no need for you to bring her there. You see, now this thing go enter key lake just now just now just now because as far as i'm concerned it's a bit gossipy it wasn't necessary was not necessary to say who is bitchy or who is this who is that positive affirmation <coughs> excuse me you are boss women teach the younger generation how to build their brands how to become boss ladies let's not be gossipy in high school i didn't like it i didn't think it was a game i didn't think it was funny because there is always a little truth behind a joke and you know how girls are they can be catty they can be conniving they can be calculating we've all got it in us we know how to do that. And hence, I believe that this is going to be a recipe for disaster in the next episode. We are yet to see Mariam. Mariam, I've now been informed, she'll come in episode four. So we're going to have the one the week after, and then she's coming the week after that. I truly believe that we don't know what's happening behind the scenes. From what I saw, she's got a very young daughter. So perhaps it was a matter of, you know, work, mommy duty obligations, but we are waiting to see her. I want to give her a shout out. I want to give her positivity. Mariam, come up through, girl. We want to see your beautiful face. And that was the episode two do we love my darlings do we love girls make una stay positive make una mind your business koda mash your malama like that <laughs> let me know if you want me to continue speaking pigeon my yoruba i speak small i did try i jj small small i did try i'll put that one inside for you guys all in all i'm living for it guys let me know what you think my niger base make on a chook mouth down below put comment make on a follow make on a subscribe take your mommy daddy driver house girl steward get man make on a all subscribe even the woman with the sell plantain and granite <laughs> Bring her. Let us subscribe. I beg you. Let us enter one million here so that they can say, yes, we are here too. Uh -uh, we are representing. Uh, how far? 
okay all of my loves my darlings love 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 continue hustling continue grinding it's never too late and if you don't know something guess how you're gonna know you're gonna know by starting start you're gonna make mistakes that's not the point the point is you started all of my love <laughs> oh double <laughs> oh <not> goodbye <laughs>